Welcome back to my channel. Ang pag-aaralan naman natin ngayon ay kung paano isulat ang quadratic equation sa standard form. Ano nga ba ang quadratic equation? A quadratic equation is an equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. And a cannot be 0, otherwise the equation will become linear equation. The form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 is the standard form of quadratic equation. Where ax squared is the quadratic term. bx is the linear term. And c is the constant term. Now, let's write 3 minus 5x squared is equal to 9x into a standard form. Mapapansin natin sa standard form ng quadratic equation ay lahat ng term nito ay nasa kaliwa. Kaya ang una natin gagawin ay mailipat ang 9x sa kaliwa pero syempre hindi natin pwedeng basta ilipat ito. Kailangan natin gamitan ng subtraction property of equality. We need to subtract both sides by 9x. Now, let's simplify. So, magiging 3 minus 5x squared minus 9x is equal to 0. Ngayong nailipat na natin lahat ng term sa kaliwa, ang kailangan na lang natin ay ilagay ang quadratic term sa first term. Linear term sa middle term. And constant term sa last term. So, mapapansin natin na kasama natin inilipat ang operation symbol. So, minus 5x squared naging negative 5x squared. And then, minus 9x. And since yung ating constant term is positive, maglalagay tayo ng positive or plus sign. And then, equal to 0. So, our answer is negative 5x squared minus 9x plus 3 is equal to 0. Or, 5x squared plus 9x minus 3 is equal to 0. For our number 2 example, 4x times the quantity of x minus 2 is equal to 13. For this example, pwede nating unahing ilipat si 13 sa kaliwa or i-multiply si 4x kay x minus 2. This time, unahin na muna nating i-multiply si 4x kay x minus 2 using distributive property. Kung hindi pa kayo pamilyar sa multiplication of monomial by polynomial, ay mayroon akong separate video para dito na pwede niyong panoorin at pag-aralan. Now, let's multiply... 4x and x minus 2. So, 4x times the quantity of x minus 2 is equal to 4x squared minus 8x and then, ilagay lang natin yung equal 13. Next is subtraction property of equality. Subtract both sides by 13. So, 4x minus 8x minus 13 is equal to 0. And this is our final answer. 4x squared minus 8x minus 13 is equal to 0. Where a is equal to 4, b is equal to negative 8, and c is equal to negative 13. Now, let's move to our number 3 example. For number 3 example, x plus 2 times x plus 3. So, this is multiplication of binomial. 
Kung hindi pa kayo familiar sa multiplication of binomial, using FOIL method, meron din akong ginawang video para dito. The product of x plus 2 and x plus 3 is equal to x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. Since naka-standard form na siya, kukunin na lang natin ang value ng a, b, and c. So, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 5, c is equal to 6. Okay, for our last example, halos kaparehas ng ating number 3 example. So, pwede rin natin gamitan ng FOIL method. Pero syempre, dahil ito ay isang special product, meron ding special way kung paano isolve ang ganitong problem. Ito ay tinatawag nating sum and difference of two binomials. So mapapansin natin na parehas ang kanilang first term at last term. Ang pagkakaiba lang nito ay ang operation. Yung isa ay sum at yung isa naman ay difference, kaya ito ay tinawag na sum and difference of two binomials. To solve this, multiply the first term and the last term. Okay, so x times x is equal to x squared. Plus 7 times minus 7 is equal to minus 49. So x squared minus 49 is equal to negative 3x. Next is addition property of equality. Add both sides by 3x. So, x squared minus 49 plus 3x is equal to 0. Next, bring down x squared and then positive 3x or plus 3x and minus 49 is equal to 0. And this is our final answer. x squared plus 3x minus 49 is equal to 0 where a is equal to 1, b is equal to 3, and c is equal to negative 49. Okay, so para malaman natin kung meron kayong natutunan, write each quadratic equation in standard form. Paki-pause lang ang video and then paki-play kung tapos na kayong magsagot. Okay, so check na natin. So number 1. 3x squared minus 6x minus 7 is equal to 0. For number 2, 2x squared plus 3x plus 4 is equal to 0. Number 3. x squared plus 11x plus 28 is equal to 0. For number 4. 3x squared plus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0. Number 5. 3x squared minus 6x minus 9 is equal to 0. Number 6 x squared plus 3x minus 64 is equal to 0. And for number 7, x squared minus 6x plus 3 is equal to 0.